Just something I wanted to share today, something to think about. At the beginning when God made us, when he made the man and the woman, he didn't say anything to them about make sure that you are good, be good. He told them about a tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and he told them not to eat from it. He told them not even to address the issue of good and evil. He said nothing to them about being good. Now, my wife and I, we believe that God wants to restore to each and every one of us as individuals what he had with Adam and Eve in the garden. We believe that. It's a different thing now. It's a better thing now. Because we get to have our God as forgiven people. They didn't have that. They were the first ones to fall. So they were the first ones to suffer the consequence of that fall, of that disobedience, of that unbelief. Not of being bad. That's why he made it an innocuous thing as far as the action itself, eating from a tree. The significance of it was, or the thing that made that tree the knowledge of good and evil, wasn't that somehow they magically consumed the knowledge of good and evil. It was because their action constituted, God, I don't trust you. That's what we believe. So he's, he has now restored it, or offered us the opportunity to have it restored to us in a way that we can never lose it again by some innocuous mistake, or even a big mistake, by our putting of trust in Him, by our believing in Him, not by our being good. We're not designed to know our God through being good. There's only one that's good, and that's Him. And that, as we will teach you a lot in these videos, that's not for the purposes of shaming anyone. That's just for the purposes of reality. There can only be one who is good. He designed us in a good way. It's just we have all these religious notions of what it is to not be good. And it's all based on shame and get yourself together. But you can't do that. Someone who is inherently, intrinsically, just by nature good, does not need commands to be good. We needed commands to show us how much we need our God. That's why the law was given. The law was given to show us how much we need Him and His mercy and His love and His kindness. That's why He didn't tell them to be good. He didn't tell them to be good. He told them, he told them to live, to live your life, be fruitful and multiply, enjoy what I've given you. And He's a very patient and long-suffering God. And He's gone through all these thousands of years, the first 4,000 until he came, and he offered the opportunity to restore that to anyone who would put their faith in him, to eat from the tree of life. The tree of life is is represented by our trust in him. When you trust in him, in your heart, you become alive to him forever, never to be separated again. But if you don't believe that, if you believe it's through your goodness, through your obedience, through your sacrifice, through whatever your, your particular religion or mindset has devised for you to accomplish, to satisfy him to the extent that he would make you alive to him or have a place for you in his heaven, then you don't know him. You don't know who he is. That's not who God is. God is not someone who tells you to be good. God is your creator. You're everything, your father, your Lord, your savior. Who just says, trust me, trust me and my goodness, and we will be together forever. In Jesus' name, amen.